Hey yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Rev. Here with another quick video for you guys. This time I'm responding to a request from a subscriber, Keon Rich. He wants to know, he says he's checking out the setup. He uses Studio One. He wants to know if I'm a Mac user or a PC. So first of all, I'll let you know that I'm a PC user. Um, I've always been a PC user. Um, I built most of my computers. This one I did not build from the ground up, but I, I maintain being a PC user. I did think about going the Mac route, um, doing the Mac Mini route specifically, um, so that I could have logic. Um, and really, for me, it just really came down to cost. Um, for the cost of this desk and and my computer, um, you know. This entire desk, you know, with the Ravens, the desk, and my PC, uh, cost the same amount as a Mac Mini with the specs of the PC that I have. So I kind of decided just to stick with the PC route when I was upgrading this past summer. Um, you're thinking about adding the Slate Raven to your workflow. Do I recommend? And also, do I say one or two screens? Uh, some other questions. Explain the Bash Commander if it's useful. Do I use Studio One Mixer or the Raven uh, PC or Max? And compare the workflow of a mouse con and a control mixer setup. Thanks. So basically, you're asking about workflow. First of all, I will say um, I went the two uh, Raven route, and the reason specifically I did that is because I've always used two monitors. Uh, back when Joe's had like the big CRT monitors, I had like two humongous you know 20 inch uh crt monitors side by side that's really the only way that i've ever worked uh so when i was looking at these and i knew that it was going to be somewhat of a monitor replacement as well i decided to get two um and go for the two with the setup just for my convenience um i would possibly in the future add uh monitors uh, uh, one more monitor up here uh, as a third but for the time being this kind of mimics the way that I've always worked um, so that's why I went with the two um, in terms of the Raven workflow um, I would say just imagine upgrading to a touchscreen um, Studio One users specifically um, you know, Studio One was made with, uh, you know, this, the newer versions are, were made with uh, touchscreen in mind. So, um, you know, really just imagine upgrading to a touchscreen as a Studio One user. Now, I will say if you use Pro Tools, Pro Tools is not made with, with touchscreen in mind. Without this, the uh, Raven software, you would only have one uh, mouse point, whereas you have 10 points with uh, the Studio One software. So, using the Raven for Pro Tools, um, and I also have Pro Tools on here, um, is very, uh, there are some major advantages uh, to the Raven and the Raven software. As a Studio One user, I'm going to have to say that I did not find uh, Batch Commander all that much useful for me, uh, nor the Raven software. Now there's tons of things that I'm not doing yet, like I haven't programmed a bunch of batches myself, uh, for myself, I will say out of the box installing as uh, per the instructions, um, it wasn't convenient for me at all. In fact, uh, maybe in my earlier videos, once once I had this stuff, uh, you may have actually seen Bash Commander on my screen. Um, you don't even see it anymore. Uh, but the best way to determine whether or not Bash Commander is useful for you, to be honest, is just to go and buy it. Right. Uh, if you have a touchscreen already, a uh, touchscreen monitor, the batch commander can be purchased separately. I think it's like a hundred bucks. Right. Go out and check if it's worth worth it for you. Um, for me, I like things to work right out the box. I did all, you know, everything they told me, installed the, the key commands, all that stuff per their instructions. And there were only a few things that worked well: the transport, mute, unmute. Um, the mixer works, although. While I love the look of that mixer, um, it's everything about Batch Commander's uh, graphic user interface uh, looks very 90s to me. Uh, does not look very high res. Does not look very well done. 
All right, and I know that's, you know, the purpose of it is not to, you know, uh, for graphics. Uh, at the same time, um, for me, part of me getting this is not just for functionality. It's for, um, it's for the aesthetic, right? Um, you know, my studios, you know, I don't have a bunch of stuff lit up right now. But, you know, normally in the videos, you're going to see uh, lights here and lights there, right? I normally got a ton of lights on. Um, strip lights, black lights, because um, I want to create a certain atmosphere where I'm creating. Um, so this is part of that. Uh, and for uh, the Bash Commander, just didn't do it for me. Um, in the absence of the Bash Commander, could you possibly get two very um, high quality touchscreen monitors and install them into a desk yourself? It's possible. Um, I went for this package, you know, I got it, you know, twice a year. It's, Two to three times a year, they run it all on sale for about twenty-five hundred. So I did that, you know, um, utilizing funds from you know the beats that I sell. Um, so I would say, if you're making music money with your music and you want to uh, reinvest, this might be a good look for you. Um, the Ravens are pretty good touch mo touch screen monitors. You know, they they do what I need them to do. And probably at a later point in time, I'll spend more time with the Batch Commander and maybe I'll program some commands. The things that are not linked correctly uh, per install, I might adjust them. But for me, I was like, it's hard for me to sit here and just want to do that because normally I get in front of stuff and I just want to create. You know, that's what's most important to me is for me to take my time and create. Um, so I did start off trying to use it and then eventually I said, screw it. And now I just use the transport that comes with Studio One. I use the Studio One mixer, you know, that's um, what I'm doing, you know, I just, again, this isn't probably the, the best situation, but this is, I've gotten used to using it. Um, it is very responsive um, as a control surface. However, I must warn you, it is not the same as having a hardware piece. All right, I looked for a control surface because I wanted something, I needed something other than a mouse to mix with, right? Um, back in the day, they had Behringer hit me like a, you know, hundred fifty dollar control surface, like the BCF two thousand or something like that. It had uh, you know hundred millimeter f flying faders motorized, and you know I used that with a new window years back, and um, you know it wasn't going to work with this software, and I was looking for a control surface. The Raven popped up. I really liked. You know, again, aesthetics was it was big for me. Um, coming now, I will tell you, it is not the same as having a hardware piece. Um, because this is using the Huey driver, I wouldn't be able to do this in a hardware piece either. So, you know, I'm kind of stuck a little bit. Um, but I, I will say there are times that I definitely miss having a piece of hardware um, and feeling through it. You know, there is no closing your eyes and listening to the music. I mean, to kind of move your pan left to right. There's no closing your eyes and, and moving your faders up and down until your ears hear the sweet spot. There's none of that because you're here, right? You're on a screen. And, I mean, you can put your hand on it, you know, and then close your eyes and then kind of move around this way, but it's not the same convenience as that. Like, once I let this go, I can't, like, just move over to the next fader. Right? I need to make sure I'm hitting that correctly. And... There's a learning curve if you're using the Batch Commander to using the Batch Commander, but there's also a learning curve to getting used to where you need to touch on the screen um, to make sure that it's accurate, right? Because I'll tell you that some of my frustration in the beginning was, you know, I got the touch screen, I can do what I want with the VSTs, but, you know, some of these touches, they need to be, like, precise. You know, you saw me kind of go around and just click, you know, multiple windows just now, and I closed a bunch of stuff. That's that you will not do that when you first get this. <laughs> you, you won't, uh, because some of those touches do need to be a bit precise, uh, you know, and you're gonna miss sometimes, and you may get frustrated when you miss a few times. I mean, switching from a channel to the next that's simple, but you know, trying to pan this, you know. I, I'm going to tell you, you're going to need a little bit of practice. And if I want to get something precise here, um, if I don't have the batch commander in, the fine fader, uh, you know, the fine touch is not 
going to be as effective, you know. So I mean that part they kind of lock you into to using the batch commander for that because if you have anything intricate that you need to do, you're really going to require the batch commander is the only thing that engages like your touches to be more uh, precise. Um, let me talk about the desk for a second. Uh, if you were thinking about not just getting the Raven MTI-2s, um, but you're also thinking about this desk, I will tell you that this desk is lovely. Um, they did the best that they could with it in terms of the location of these monitors. Obviously, this couldn't be too wide. I can't fit too much here, but if they made it any wider this way, I wouldn't be able to reach it comfortably. Um, but I'll tell you from whether you're sitting down or you're standing up, this is you can do this comfortably this is not this is not bad at least for me i mean my arms might be a little bit longer than, than some but at the end of the day this they located it at i think this is the best that they could have done and, and i like where it's located at the same time um again also aesthetic wise right it's a very nice looking desk but i will show you, um, there's a cutout here in case you were going to use the slick control. I'm going to show you something. This kind of disappointed me. But that the entire desk is made of particle board, right? I'm not zooming. Hopefully you can see that if you enlarge your screen, right? But this is really the whole desk. So all the parts that are smooth, this, you know, some kind of plastic type covering here. Um, over all those par parts, you know, the leatherette piece, I was concerned it was going to be crappy as hell pretty well together thus far but know that this is just particle board wrapped you know it's wrapped particle board the entire thing um, and I don't know maybe I was I was thinking you know the desk is by itself is normally like twelve hundred dollars or something like that um, I don't know I, I know that this is what I was expecting so. I will say that to you, those of you kind of worried about quality, that was, that's probably my one qualm with the desk is that, uh, you know, it's particle board. But, um, again, it's held up, it's pretty solid, it, it's held up well. Again, like I said, aesthetically, it looks great. Um, when people come in, they're definitely, especially, you know, I'm in the home studio, right? So when you're trying to, uh, make additional funds on the side, uh, recording people, you know, home studio, immediately people want to go for that $25, $35 an hour range, and I'm like, no, I, I still want at least $50. Um, um, when they see that you take your t craft seriously by way of what they see in your investment, that's sometimes helpful, you know, beyond the other things that you, you know, your name dropping and, you know, uh, talking about what projects you've been a part of. You know, sometimes just people seeing the investment actually uh, it does help. So there's that. Um, I think I may have gotten all your questions, man. Um, as I mentioned with the mixer piece, you know, just the aspect of your, your workflow. Um, if you've been using a mouse for a while, I will tell you that you will pick up the mouse a lot. It's just going to happen. Uh, it takes time to rewire your brain to go back and touch things and even now even though I've been using this for a while there's times when I come here to touch something and if I don't get the result I want I'm right back to the mouse right for selection uh, when I'm trying to select stuff normally I'm gonna go to my mouse because I feel more comfortable with that um, you know it is you know it just is what it is I've that's been my experience so I kind of rock with it um yeah let me know if you have any other questions man uh you know i love when you guys send the questions uh it gives me some stuff to shoot um constantly making upgrades if you haven't already subscribed subscribe like the video whatnot and you know email me rev at call that reverend.com if you have ever have a question uh if you you know, just unsure of something. If you have music that you want somebody to listen to and, and critique, you know, I'll do critiques right here on this channel. Most definitely, just hit me up. R-E-V at callthatreverend.com Peace. Crescendo.